Hey, 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 this is Christine, your DIY craftaholic. Welcome back if you are returning. And if you are new, welcome. So glad you decided to stop by today. Today I have four quick and easy patriotic DIYs, which is a part of the patriotic DIYs open playlist, which I'll talk a little bit more further into the video. I picked up these two bandanas from the Dollar Tree and I'm only going to use one. This one is my inspiration piece, which I'm going to call this farmhouse rustic. So I'm going to use this piece, that piece, the truck, and I'm just going to cut those out. And then this is also from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut this into two pieces. I'm just laying down my truck and my sign. And this is where I'm going to cut. And here they are all cut and now I'm sanding them down. Just making sure the edges are smooth. And then after I sanded them down, I am now wiping with a baby wipe just to clean off the dust. And then I painted with a coat of white chalk paint. And here I'm just trying to give, give it a border so that when I put the cloth down, it still, it has that border around it. And then I'm just going in now with some Mod Podge and that is just to make my surface wet enough to place the cloth down. And I'm not sure why it looked like the cloth has shrunk. So after I put them on, I'm now going to add some Mod Podge around the edges and then dry with the heat. And then I'm going to set these two aside and start working on DIY number two. I'm using some painter's sticks. These are from Lowe's and I believe I used nine of them and I'm just taping down the square so it doesn't move while I'm trying to line up the sticks. And I took some wood glue along with some hot glue, glued the pieces or the edges together. And because the, end, the two end pieces were didn't have much room or didn't have much hanging on to them, I had to cut down two other pieces and glue those on. I then took some spackle and fill out the holes or the spaces. And then when it was dried, I sanded it down. And here I cut down a piece of cereal box cardboard and just glued down the cloth on top of that. And that is to give me more and that was just to give me a base before I glued it onto the craft sticks. And I'm just using some wood glue here. I mean, <laughs> at this point you can use any glue that will stick. <laughs> so I use a wood glue as well as some hot glue and glued that on. Now I am taking red and blue Baker's Twine because these two colors blended in so well with this. And I'm going around the borders on both ends both the inside and the outside of the border. And I left that little piece out because it looks, um, I think it looks rustic or different right there. And here I'm taking some of these beads that I got from BB Craft. I will leave my unboxing link in the card above so you can check that out. I love these beads. I haven't used a lot of them just yet, but I plan to do so in the future. So I just string some on a piece of jute twine, and this is going to become the hanger for this little sign to hang.
and then I just took the Mod Podge and added some around the edge and this is done. This collaboration is being hosted by Teresa from Teresa B DIY as a fundraising effort for Fisher House Foundation where military and veteran families are housed free of charge when a loved one is hospitalized. If you would like more information on how you can donate or support this worthy cause, make sure to check out Teresa's video for that. I will leave a link to her channel as well as the playlist in my description box below. So now I'm back to finishing up DIYs number one and two. And then I have this burlap ribbon remaining from Dollar Tree and I decided to put some jute down before I added the ribbon I only had just this much so it couldn't go all the way around so I just cut and add at the top as well as the bottom and what I did with the jute I just left a like a little loop at the top where I could string another piece to add my hanger and then I just used two small beads at the end of this for decor purposes as well as to keep the jute from falling through this loop. And then I'm just doing the same thing with this one, just adding the jute around it. And I stopped at that corner because I wanted to add the stripes. So I just cut down a piece of the stripe and glued it on at the back of the truck. And then just turned it over and cut off the excess and here I took whatever was left and made a messy bow but I fold in the ends wrapped a piece of jute around that and glued it on and then I just took another piece of the jute twine for the hanger and this is done Now DIY number four, it's like a little bonus. I had this pail for, I had used it for a DIY last year. And then I just cut the heart from what was remaining from the fabric and just find a little spot on the pail. You use some Mod Podge to glue that on or to apply that. And then I'm just gonna add some foam and stick some flowers in. But if you are new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I'm so happy you joined me today. Here on my channel, I do DIYs on a budget, dupes, look for less, and some occasional Dollar Tree shopping hauls. If you like budget-friendly DIYs like these and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing and be sure to hit that notification bell. Hit it again and select all so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload new videos and also be sure to like share and comment down below because I enjoy reading your comment and it also helps the YouTube algorithm to suggest my videos to more viewers like yourself so after I was done adding or the flower foam I got this bunch of this patriotic bouquet of flowers from Dollar Tree and as you saw I just cut them down and stuck them in the middle added some extra flowers that I had and what was left of the bandana I just put that in there and call this done and now for the final reveal of these rustic farmhouse patriotic DIYs I love how they turned out and the fact that I used one bandana and and got four DIYs that are so beautiful let me know which one of these was your favorite and don't forget to check out Teresa's channel as well as the playlist and if you would like to connect with me outside of YouTube you can check my description box for my link tree address. And if you like budget friendly content like these be sure to watch this video or this playlist and stay safe until next time bye